We got Lolo on the Zoom Zooms. Welcome to another vlog. We're thriving and uh, it is still dark out. Ah, uh, we love a little fall morning. Got me a little breakfast sandwich and we're just gonna co-work. We're just gonna have a cozy Monday. We got our little sweatshirts on. Yeah, our little sweatshirts, my little long sleeve. Good morning. A second time, <laughs> I'm going for a little walk. My AirPods in. I'm going to get some Starbucks and just have a nice, cold, chilly autumn walk in the rain. Um, the rain is stopping for like half an hour, so perfect time to get in my little walkie. I think I'm gonna get an apple crisp macchiato. We are back from Trader Joe's and I may have found one of the new best snacks. <laughs> this is the Cacio e Pepe little cheese snacks. Cheese and black pepper, in case you don't know what that is. Another snack. Similar vibe but different. Broccoli fries. The gal in the store was handing out samples. Holy shit. Fire. You know I already love my sour cream and onion rings, so I think they'll make a great little snack. I stocked up on so much bread for me and Mandy's butterboard, and then I also got some sourdough. I got us apples. We're gonna try to make caramel apples. Um, I saw in Alex's vlog, Learning to be Fearless, that Trader Joe's had kits for like caramel apple things. They did not um, at mine. So we had to go to Hagen, which is our local chain. We had to pick up a whole bunch of stuff. So instead of doing that, we're going to use their caramel bits, just craft. You can find these at any grocery store and you melt them in a pan with some water and it turns into caramel sauce. So I got us uh, Granny Smith apples and uh, Fuji apples, I think, um, all organic. And then of course they didn't have the kits, so they didn't have the skewer sticks. Uh, I'm hoping this longer one is enough. These are bamboo skewers for like just fun little kebabs. Um, I don't think they're gonna hold a whole apple. So you may have to do two per apple. We'll get creative. We also have chopsticks, yeah. So we'll figure it out between this and what we already have. I'm sure it'll work. Um, I got mini M&Ms for the apples. Thought that'd be a good topping. And then I also got us roasted peanuts with sea salt and we're gonna have to crush these to make like the crushed peanuts for the apples. Uh, while I was at Hagen, I saw these Jack and Annie's Buffalo Wings. They look really yummy, so I'll report back on the verdict. We're also going to try this Pesto Rosso, tomato-based pesto sauce with Parmigiano Reggiano and cashews, product of Italy. This looks real fire. We have another pesto too, so we're all lined up. And then in terms of the butter board, um, we have butter here, so we're good on that. Um, but I picked us up um, some brie to have on the side uh, since like that'll just add more food that we can have and then I also got us chives pomegranate seeds um, unfortunately they did not have the garlic that was pre skinned or whatever so I have to spend time doing that <laughs> on Wednesday which is fine it's fine we'll make do uh, they were just out of a lot of stuff at Trader Joe's so that was unfortunate, but we were able to go to Hagen and get everything we need. It's like a pile of food right here, so forgive me. But um, yeah, got our faves. We've been loving these bars lately. Jared loves the PB&J bars. I'm a fucking fan of the Simply Nutty bars. So stocked up while we were there in all of our necessities. Got some soups, got some pastas. We're gonna try this multicolored pasta cheeses, meats, you know, little baby carrots, all of our favorite 
dips, if you don't know, we're a sucker for the garlic spread, the roasted garlic hummus, and then the vegan buffalo dip. So, stocked up on all of our faves, we're good to go. Just wanted to show you those snack new faves. Um, but yeah, Mandy is coming over on Wednesday and we're gonna have like a whole fall day. I'm so, so excited. So we have caramel apple making, uh, we'll make a butter board, I'm gonna show her all of that. And then I'll also pick up some crumble. So crumble's theme this week is Halloween candy and stuff. So I think we're gonna go tomorrow night. Originally we were gonna have family night, so I was gonna go and bring them to the kids. Um, but we're gonna see them on Friday. So I'm just gonna get stuff for me and Mandy and it's gonna be a blast. Also, I'm gonna just keep teasing you when items for my Halloween costume come in. So this is the next one. Um, this may or may not be tied around my neck. So if that's a hint, like literally a niche audience is going to get who this is, but I'm very, very excited because no one else is probably doing it, or very few. So it's gonna be iconic, to say the least. So I need to figure out how to fold this and I need to look at uh, the video of this character to figure out how to do it, but I'm very excited. So this is your next hint. You've already seen the parachute pants, like the khaki pants, the brown uh, Gucci dupe belt, and the white thick headband. So this is the next piece to the puzzle. I think I have two or three more items coming in, so I'll just like drop them as they come in from Amazon. Um, we are cooking up dinner now though, it's like 7.30 almost, and we're really hungry. So I think we're gonna watch Friends. He's been on a re-watching kick lately. Not a random one. Yeah, he likes The Office usually. That's like his comfort show, and Friends is my comfort show. You know why I got that? It's because Facebook has been just showing me All like videos friends of like stuff. bloopers from the Friends. Oh, like, it's uh, so good. Pivot! It's so good. So anyway, I think I'm gonna jump on his train and watch some of that. I wanna watch some of the holiday episodes tonight. Um, it'll be fun. So we're gonna have a cozy night in. I'm kind of feeling like a little off tonight, so I hope it's nothing. I hope uh, my exercise today did me some good and I'll just wake up feeling okay tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow we have an eyebrow waxing appointment and I just have a lot of client work to do. I have a big client call, we're like launching her site, we're doing a whole bunch of stuff. So, gotta be well rested for that. So, I'll catch up with you guys tomorrow. is here today. I made lunch. I made a lovely sandwich. Um, and we're watching this crazy ass motherfucker, the Waukesha Parade. I don't know what the city's name is. The guy's Daryl Brooks or something. Crazy. So he is representing himself. He killed like six people and injured 60 more. Um, oh yeah. So he has 76 counts against him. Jennifer's over him. This judge, she has been muting him when he's in the other courtroom. It, it's really giving me life. Uh, clearly the jury is going to decide to rule, you know, guilty. But uh, it's just very entertaining. It kind of makes you mad because he keeps speaking over her and it's like a lot. But anyway, that's our entertainment today. I've been very productive. I made my little smoothie. I got client work done. It's great. All right, friends, the next part of my Halloween costume has come in. So this yellow button-up little blouse situation. Very cute, love this mustard color, very on brand for me. I am very red, just got back from a lovely like 20, 25 minute walk around the neighborhood. It is so windy, so cold, my pants are soaked. So I'm gonna get under this blankie here, warm myself up. 
Um, and then a client call, hopefully launching her website and finishing everything. Um, been keeping up with the Wakesha trial. Crazy shit. This guy is absolutely delusional. Um, but it's very like vindicating to like see him, you know, I'm tired. <laughs> I gotta sit down on this couch, but very nice day. Chatted with Lauren, got a lot of client work done in the morning. Um, and then I got my eyebrows done with Miss Kelsey. It's my first time since she uh, left for maternity leave. So I just, I love them. I loved Amanda, her gal who filled in for her. So I think I'm gonna kind of pop back and forth between them. Um, they're just so fun and we have like very different conversations and I really enjoy it. So she says that some of her clients are now deciding to like kind of bounce back and forth um, every other month. So I think I'm gonna try that out. But it was great seeing Kelsey as always. Love my bros. Ready for Halloween celebrations. Also we did get invited to a Halloween like low key costume party. So Jared needs to find something. <laughs> I explained to our friend, uh, Sumai, that this is my costume, and I sent her a picture, um, and she loved it, but they don't really get it. Most people who do not listen to the world of drag, check out the world of drag, are not going to know what my costume is, but she did like the creativity, um, and she thinks I'm going to pull it off, so we'll see. All right, friends, it's dinner time. I've been living in my breadwinning housewife little shirt. It's kind of a problem. Um, we are going to make some pasta. Pesto rosso with some spaghetti. I'm gonna do some asparagus. Mmm, that looks really good. Hopefully, it will be tasty. Then we'll put some Parmesan cheese on top. Yeah. Grab crumble after dinner. Should be very yummy. Sorry for just like the horrendous lighting. I don't know what to do about it. I turn up the exposure and it looks really weird on here, so you're just working with what we got. I'm just so not used to like the nights getting so much darker, so much earlier. The Halloween theme from Crumble. We have, this is the mystery cookie cake batter. Uh, Mandy and I wanted to try that. Then we got the it really smells like Halloween candy, this whole box. We got the Tootsie Roll chocolate. Can't really see. And then the Nerds with the pink sugar cookie. The peanut butter with um, Butterfinger. That's for Jared. And then Rice Krispie Treats. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. I have to send Tatiana a voice memo. This is so good. Oh my god, a girl. So I met this girl. There's a lot going on. And she kind of started like messaging me too much. So I was like, let's not. So anyway, she's kind of crazy. But I shut her down because I didn't want to be part of that lifestyle. I'll just do one and then you don't. It's going to be bomb. It's Rice Krispies. Mm-hmm. Oh. As I expected. Oh. Oh my god. It's just always good. Yeah, but somehow that's better. It's a strawberry and lime meat, right? Yeah. It's really good. It's like a refreshing mm -hmm. cookie. So like oh. Oh, oh my, my god. god. I got better, Raph. After the second. After that the chocolate is the best chocolate cookie I've had mm -hmm. from that. that Hope you love my tea spilling and uh, our cookie tasting. Tomorrow's gonna be so fun. We're gonna have a full, our last fall filled day before it's time for Christmas decor. So, hope you're ready to really send it out with a bang before Halloween. So excited. Well, good morning, happy Wednesday. Uh, I'm going to get started on everything for the day. Uh, I'm gonna chop up the bread. I'm going to peel the garlic just so we have everything ready. Um, I have a lovely ambiance set up here. My candles going, my harvest table, and my witching hour. And then it's the jazz coffee shop. Uh, it's called like the Halloween jazz coffee shop on YouTube. Um, and it's just so gloomy and nice out. Um, I love how that's my definition of nice out get everything out and ready for her make a little spread um, we both have been feeling like a little weird um, not super sick but just kind of like off um, but she's gonna take a COVID test before she comes over 
and she's feeling fine she just has like a stuffy nose and the same thing with me like i've had like moments where i'm like oh god i'm getting sick but i'm fine so fingers crossed we're gonna risk this um i may regret this in the future but hopefully not loading up on our vitamin c and just hoping that everything's fine I crushed up the peanuts, I chopped up the baguettes, I did an everything uh, sourdough loaf, and then a regular sourdough loaf. Got our crumble cookie cookie cutter with the crumble box there. our apples so I did two Fuji organic apples and then two Granny Smith I feel like Granny Smith is the mood for like caramel apples so I wanted to get both and then we have our toppings and our caramel and our sticks here I'm gonna try to do the sticks let's see how the sticks work the top right oh my god it worked Okay, who said I can't do it with these? Literally nobody did, I'm just saying. I didn't get the kits, so I'm trying to do it. Okay, it's working though. Alma, Mandy's here, it's happening. <laughs> I told her about the court case. I'm not okay. We the jury find the defendant, Daryl E. Brooks, guilty of first degree intentional homicide as charged in count two of the information. Did the defendant commit first degree intentional so homicide? So she's gonna have to read all 67 weapon? of them? 76. Yes. 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 We're on a little walk. We felt like it. <laughs> Aren't these so cute? Uh, we're looking at the Halloween decor in the neighborhood and we finished Practical Magic. I think I need to watch it more intently <laughs> next time. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck's happening? But it was cute. And the cast is killer. Yeah. So we're gonna watch Halloween Town when we get home and make our caramel apples and our butter board. What was your rating on the crumble cookie? Um, I really <laughs> liked the cake batter one. Um, I was not a fan of the strawberry limeade with the nerds on top. Okay. Too intense. Too intense. Yeah. And I did enjoy the Tootsie Roll one. Yeah. But it's also a little strong. Yeah. That, like strong multi flavor. Many of them are very strong, yeah. The uh, rice crispy though. Rice crispy is delicious. Fire. Really, really good. It's just funny because I don't think of that as a cookie. Yeah. For some reason it's a They do thing. some weird things. Yeah. But, it but you would get it again? Yeah, it was, it was a very good thing. Do you see all the breakouts from my eyebrow wax? It gets oh. me so fucked up. So, apologies. Um, we we'll make our butter board. I have the garlic on the stove. It's gonna roast. It's gonna be very yummy. Easy caramel apples. Five medium apples. It's fine, we'll do four. One package of these, two tablespoons water. Place caramel bits in medium saucepan, add water. Cook on medium low heat for three minutes or until caramel bits are completely melted, stirring constantly. Okay. Not burnt like last time. It was like black oh, no. and hardened, and it's no. such a strong taste. And then Mandy's whipping up our caramel bits. It's just a chunk. Yeah, it's it's getting there though. Yeah. And then we have our whole station over here. 
with our crushed peanuts and our mini candy M&Ms. And then we have uh, my best attempt at it a looks, sticked apple. It looks great. Yeah. You know, still bitter at Trader Joe's. They didn't have the kits, but we made it work. I'm thinking like we just kind of like roll it in. Yeah, that's got to work, don't you think? Yeah. Behind the scenes of the, <laughs> the real making. Oh. oh, yes. And then just put it, uh, oh, dip it in the thing that you want. Fuck. Which one do you want? I can just dip it? Yeah. That's what I'm thinking. Hell yeah. Oh. Yep. Oh, it's kind of. See, it. this is what happened to Alex's, the same girl. It just tripped to the bottom. Mm. Do a good job. <laughs> now we gotta go back in with our fingers and like. Oh, it doesn't stick. <laughs> like, gotta like put more on top. Probably because oh, these ones hot. have already dried a little bit. Wow, that looks gorgeous. Look at that. Amazing. Okay. Good God. These are really ugly, but that's okay. So I just like nuke my butter straight from the fridge for like 10 seconds. Let it sit out for like a few minutes, but. That it's is. a little hard still, but it, it'll do the trick. And then I use a literal just butter knife and kind of <laughs> How thin do you have to spread it? Not super thick. Yeah, like probably this much. And you're gonna use both of these. I usually do. It's a lot of butter, but you don't eat the whole board. You yeah. end up kind of trashing like over half of it, to be honest. But we're pretty hungry, so I'm literally so excited for this. Those are hand peeled. I did so much labor. <laughs> labor this is of love. Such a hot mess. Ooh, delicious. Y'all, this is the best thing I've ever created with the help of Miss Mandy. We made the caramel apples, they turned out beautiful. We got the butter board, we got the brie board, we got the bread situation. I also got these really cute little plates at Target. Uh, she's been using hers, but I'm gonna use that for our little caramel apples. It's gonna be so cute. What a little fall feast. Mandy has left, um, same with her kiddo, her little. Um, we had so much fun. We watched Halloween Town and we watched Practical Magic before, like I mentioned. Um, and it was just fun, like a good little cozy autumnal day. Um, it's pretty chilly, uh, so I'm gonna go cozy up in bed. I'm gonna do a round of my PT exercises. Um, also, we love this breakout from the lovely eyebrow waxing. I uh, haven't broken out this bad in a while, I think, with one of these, but. Um, I ran out of my skincare and I'm trying to wait for the Sephora sale to get some stuff and then I also want to try, I think it's called Facile, um, it's a certain skincare brand that Ellen Pompeo follows and then one of my fave influencers, Maddie Mayo, I think is how you say her name, um, her sister wrote The Emotional Entrepreneur, Scout Sobel, and um, yeah. I love Maddie, so she loves and swears by Facile. So I wanna try it. I will show you everything when I get it. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it correctly, but they have a serum that is calming and it helps with rosacea, which clearly I have. So I wanna try out something new. So I don't really wanna buy anything <laughs> for the time being. Uh, so I need to just like be better at washing my face. But anyway, that was a tangent. Um, I will definitely show you guys like once I pick out like my Sephora picks for the Sephora sale. I am not Rouge or VIB even. Um, I'm just like the insider. So I have to wait until Thursday next week. Thursday or Wednesday. Um, but I will be getting stuff uh, when that happens. So I'll do a blog post with all of my picks and I'll show you when they come in. Um, and like what I'm ordering. But yeah, that's all for me today I think pretty relaxing day. I'm just going to chill out. I have some client work to get done the rest of the week. I have therapy in the morning and just lots of stuff to do. Day. It is a 
gloomy, cold day. Got my smoothie, as you saw. Just been working, and I'm catching up on Ghost Adventures. There are three new episodes um, that I'm late to. So, gonna watch that, get some client work done. I have therapy in about 45 minutes, and uh, I have a client call later this evening. Uh, probably gonna chat with Lauren a little bit. Um, but that's basically it, just a very low key day. I'm feeling all cozy, I'm trying to like plow through work and get ahead a little bit. Um, we had Mexican like burrito bowl type things yesterday. And I think um, I may want to make the crock pot chili. What we have to do is figure out dinner today. We have dinner plans the next two days, so it would just go bad and I don't really want that. So I'll make it Sunday. I'm having a cozy day. I am um, Zooming with Maya. We're watching the new Dragula season. I'm so excited. Uh, I've waited. It premiered this Monday, I believe, and I have waited because I want to watch it with Maya. Um, it's like our tradition. So I think I'll have like a cozy fall day, uh, Halloween Eve, you know, do the chili then. And I think we'll just make like burgers or something easy tonight. And then we have family dinner at his brother's house tomorrow. And then we got invited to a little Halloween party. It's so loud out. They're making so much progress in this house next to us, but it's like so loud. We have to bring like a veggie and a fruit tray to the party. It's just like six of us, including us. Um, very chill, like three couples. It should be really fun. Um, can't wait to wear my Halloween costume. I think the final item came in. It's on the counter, so I will unbox that and show you today. Um, and then I should probably just reveal what it is because then you'll see it um, this weekend. But very, very excited. Um, but yeah, we have some stuff coming up. So I hope I feel fine. I hope I stay healthy um, and yeah. Just gonna try to take it easy. My last part of my Halloween costume, I think, came in. It's these light blue socks. Um, I'm gonna try them on. We're gonna hope they fit. Let's see. And I have a client call in about an hour. Oh, perfect. Ah, they needed to go up higher. That's okay though. They're kind of like stockings, I guess, um, that she wears, so I don't know. It'll work though. I'm happy with the color. I'm watching Ghost Adventures, by the way, still. All right, I'm headed off to the coffee shop. Happy Friday. Um, I woke up, took a little body shower, got my Keith Haring shirt on, and this may be a little bit of a hint as to what I am for Halloween. It's not literally this, but this is a hint. So, Jinx Monsoon, one of my favorite, favorite all-time drag artists, has a new sketch comedy show on WOW Presents Plus, which if you don't know what that is, probably not a drag fan, um, but they are like the producers of RuPaul and they have like a subscription service online. And Jinx's new show is called Sketchy Queens and she created it with her pal and collaborator, Liam. And they have a hilarious <laughs> little bit. Um, and it's basically like a public access TV like interview show. It's called I See You and I Hear You. And she plays this character called Winderly Landchime from the Landchime family. Um, and she's just like this really stuck up, like, are you kidding? Like really like annoying reporter. And I just thought that was so funny and her look is iconic. So I will show you the look from like the episode that I am emulating. Um, she's interviewing Katya, the drag queen, but like out of drag. And um, she's like, she says this line like, so when's the first time you noticed you weren't normal or something like that and it's just the funniest thing ever and so i modeled my outfit after the look of that episode um but i thought it was cute like a cute little 90s mom fit kind of thing i convinced jared to go as bethany christmas liam's character um but i don't think he's gonna do that i also tried to convince him to go as katia 
but I think he can really go as anything because I'm an interviewer. So I could be interviewing a number of celebrities. So um, just loving it. I see when I hear you. So that's my little costume reveal. I hope you think that's creative, <laughs> a little bit at least. Um, but yeah, I have plans to head off to the coffee shop um, and just get some work done. Zoe's, my fave place. She's never been. I made her tidy up her room and now I'm making her take health shots. Because I'm a great friend. Nice. <laughs> Cheers. Thank you. Oh god. <clears throat> oh. That's good. Not bad. You can barely taste the time. I actually like it. Towards the end, it gives a little kick at the bottom. I like getting this out of smoothie. Yeah. They don't make sweat out of smoothie. It's real good. What is your uh, verdict on your other juice? Oh, it's strong. <laughs> <laughs> but it's good. Yeah, this one's less strong than our that, actual smoothie. I think that my smoothie is like way stronger than this. Like, it's the tripod right now. <laughs> it has the cayenne ginger. Mm -hmm. We went to Ralph's. We don't love, but like we were hungry. And we got some stuff to eat. And now I'm going to go visit her little pet sitting house again. I haven't been since last summer during the heat wave when we did Pride mm -hmm. virtually. Um, so yeah, she's allowing me to come over. I invited myself because <laughs> apparently someone is sick in the family and we're not going to have dinner. We had dinner plans with Jared's um, brother and everything, but that didn't pan out. So we're just gonna hang in. We're gonna make a pumpkin rolls or something. It's gonna be yummy, and we're gonna order Mexican. We're eating a lot. I'm really just like, <laughs> I'm great. Oh, yeah. I forgot to show them the cute little pumpkins. So adorable. We got some talent up in here. Wow, making a run for it. Are you doing better now? <laughs> Y'all, we have found the best show in the whole world. It's called Snowflake Mountain, and it's just these like sensitive little Gen Zers who hate like the outdoors. Oh, that's disgusting. Apologies. Okay, maybe we shouldn't show this part. Um, but we're watching it. What would you give it? Your rating? It's pretty good. It's just funny. Like, it's good trash reality TV. I mean, just considering I'm very outdoorsy, they're not, I make fun yeah. of them a lot. Yeah, they're like in between both of us. Yeah. <laughs> it's fine. I'm to the extreme of outdoorsy. You're not quite the extreme of unoutdoorsy. Yeah. All right, dinner time. We got our own little TV choice. I know, this one really wants some too. Very, very excited. Uh, I think we're gonna catch the sunset. Look at that beautiful view though. Mm -hmm. Legendary moon, so beautiful. Hello friends, we are headed off. It is Saturday morning. We are going to see our nephew, Easton, play his soccer game. It's his last soccer game of the season. Um, as you know, we went a couple weekends ago and saw him. So now we are going again. And it's a beautiful fall day. The park is like right by our apartment, so that's super nice. So we don't have to like travel far. Um, and then we need to run to Party City to get a moustache for his costume. Do you want to tell them what you are? Yeah, Hopper. Hopper from Stranger Things. Um, season three with his shirt. Yeah, he has like a colorful, like light blue pink shirt and they were selling them at JCPenney like a few years ago. Yeah. So he has the shirt that he wears and then, you know, he has a mustache, so he needs a mustache. And um, yeah, it'll be cute, it'll work she gets, out. She gets some like fake blood. And apparently I am interviewing him as Wendley Landchime, so we're figuring it out. That's gonna be the weird costume, but it's okay. 
Um, so we're gonna have fun. We each kind of like picked something that we really like, so I like that. Um, and then we'll go over to like Safeway or something, grab some veggie and fruit like platter trays, and then we'll head to our friend's house. Very excited for this whole journey. Friends, we are watching Friends, and I'm eating got a little kind of veggie roll and some smoked mozzarella pasta. Just grab something at the Safeway, and then we're gonna get all ready and get our makeup on. Okay, got our outfit here. This is the inspiration look. I think I killed it. I'm not wearing slacks that are like fitted. But it works. Uh, I just have to do curls and then I have a headband. Oh, it's so iconic. Like, I really killed it. I can't wait to see what everyone else is. Like, obviously, mine is not very recognizable, but look at this icon. Uh, we're gonna head out. We gotta pack everything up, hit the road. The party is starting in approximately half an hour. All right, friends, happy Sunday. We are making chili. All right, we got the green bell pepper. We've got red bell pepper. A fine knife. That's how it's done, people. Freaking easy is that. Love my little machine. And I like to keep the skin on. That's just me, personal preference, but you do you, whatever feels good to you. Got our sweet potato chunks. Oh, that's a little less, but <laughs> fire roasted diced tomatoes. Oh shit, I need two of these. Well, we're gonna see how that turns out. Washed kidney beans, some washed black beans. Two teaspoons of this. Way too much here. <laughs> Tablespoon of the ground cumin. Tablespoon, I have this chili seasoning blend. Not really the same thing, I think, but we're gonna go for it. Tablespoon of that. Then I found this cayenne pepper, which is quite rough, so I'm just gonna do like a little bit but I figured it would help in case the chili or whatever is not good enough. It did call for cinnamon. I am out of that, but I have this pumpkin pie spice. Uh, lemon peel, ginger, nutmeg, cloves, and cardamom, but I think it'll be really nice and like compound it well. We only need one fourth a teaspoon of that. It's nice when you can like fit your measuring cup into the things, okay. And then we need salt. I think that's it. Beautiful crock pot chili. So I'm just going to put this on low, seven to eight hours. And that'll be like right around dinner time. So 10.30, 5.30. We're gonna have yummy chili later. I'm the first person in the room. It looks sickening. Alright, chili's ready. We got our... I, I'm gonna do mozzarella cheese. We'll see how that works out. Our little green onions I chopped earlier and some daisy. Mm. Oh, it looks so good. I had to go in there and mix it up a couple hours ago, but oh yeah. That looks like a good chili, y'all. We just had our delicious chili as you saw and now we're gonna get a little spooky and we're gonna go check out um, a neighborhood nearby it's called the South Capitol neighborhood it's by like the Capitol campus here in Olympia and there are some people who put on some crazy Halloween displays <laughs> um, so there's one called the Agatha Smith house which is like the most famous one it's like a cemetery and it's really intricate and then there's like one next to it and we're just gonna see like what's around there. Gonna go through Starbucks and get a little drink and just have a little fun. 
outdoorsy time. neighborhood beautiful oh, really they put in so much effort uh blame this excursion if we wake up sick tomorrow but um it was so fun we are covered in rain uh and wind and we got candy because one of the homeowners was like do you guys want any candy we have plenty i guess tonight this is halloween eve so all of the little kids in the neighborhood come out and trick-or-treat from like six to eight and then tomorrow is just like open trick-or-treating. Last year, the Agatha Smith house that they saw, or the one next to it, the pirate house, that they saw like almost 1,900 kids. Yeah. So cray cray. It's gonna be crazy tomorrow. Yeah, but it was wild now. Like I, like you see the lights and you see like the cemetery and stuff, like when you drive by Capitol Way, but like I didn't know there was this much. And I saw on Reddit about the pumpkin house, but I don't think I've been there since I was really, really little if at all so that was fun mm -hmm. a little outing so i think i'm going to close up the vlog this is the end of sunday so start a new week with halloween tomorrow we're just going to keep it low-key go to my parents house eat candy hang out uh watch haunted scotland or whatever and just like they're going to hand out candy to the kids in their neighborhood so I ain't doing that. <laughs> he goes i do that i don't do it because i'm scared and like Why? because there's some scary masks. And some, not the little kids, but like the adults that come with them, sometimes like freaking Freddy Krueger or some shit. I know about that life. Uh, we'll see if Catherine hands out any candy, but. I think, I think I got my experience of like, someone's first trick or treating. Yeah. And then we gave them some candy and they're like, okay. Oh, yeah, like it's fine. And that was cool, that was like, not like worth it. Are there the kids that try to get like 20 pieces? No. My dad's pretty good about it though. He has a whole system down. So anyway, we're gonna go eat. Fun fact, my favorite uh, like candy or Halloween candy is Almond Joy. Which one is yours? Oh, Reese's. Yeah, Reese's for sure. Um, so we're gonna have some of that and relax. So we'll catch you guys in the next vlog. Thanks for coming along for this fun, cozy autumnal vlog with walks and cooking and caramel apple making and all that fun stuff. So we'll see you in the next one. Bye.